So a few weeks back, I reached out on Twitter and I stated that I wanted to do a collab with smaller channels, anywhere between 5,000 subscribers and 100,000, and I got over 50 submissions. So basically, I went in and picked nine of the first people that sent me an email, and here we are. So yes, this is gonna be a new series. I will try and aim and do it at least once a month. We'll see how this goes, but uh, the point of this is to basically help out smaller tech channels to get some exposure. I did something like this uh, months ago with keyboards, but I'm gonna try and make this um, a series on the channel. I for one know how difficult it is to grow a channel, especially a tech channel. When I started out, it was just, it was really difficult. I can only imagine how difficult it is now. Just, it just I think YouTube is just oversaturated with tech channels. And I feel like this, uh, this series is definitely gonna help those smaller channels get some exposure, maybe get some momentum going. It's one of the reasons I actually started Setup Wars YouTuber Edition to kind of get some exposure on those small YouTube channels, but eventually the series died because I wasn't getting any more submissions. So here's the new series in order to help smaller channels succeed. So for this first episode, we're gonna be focusing on the mice that we use, whether it's for gaming or productivity. Now guys, it's really easy to make a one minute long video on a product. There's so much you can do with 60 seconds, but if you cut that in half to 30 seconds, that in itself is a challenge. So this entire new series is basically gonna be 30 seconds for each person that uh, basically collabs with me. Guys, I will have a link to everyone's channels linked down below in the order that you see them. So if you like what you see, consider checking their channel out and maybe even consider subscribing if you guys like the content they produce. Uh, that's basically it. Let's, uh, let's not waste any more time and start the show. I hope you guys enjoy. What's up guys? Matthew Monas here and this is the Steel Series Rival 100 Gaming Mouse. It retails for about 30 bucks. It's an ambidextrous mouse so it works with your right or left hand and it comes in a pretty small form factor. So it's not too small, it's not too big, it's just the right size. It caters to all three grip styles, palm, claw and fingertip. So it's not a racist mouse, it doesn't discriminate, but the main reason I bought it is for traveling. It's a good size, I can edit video with it and when I have some downtime, I can own some new and Overwatch. So if you're looking for a portable, comfortable, non-racist gaming mouse, check this one out. You really can't go wrong for 30 bucks. Thanks Ed for having me on and I'll see you guys in another video. Yo, I'm Brian P from Bad C Tech and what's really good? My daily driver gaming mouse is the Razer Death Adder Chroma. It's got a crazy responsive sensor, really snappy Omron switches under the buttons, but the star of this show is the shape. When those sessions get long and the action gets Hard, I just grip this big black mother <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a really comfortable gaming mouse. That's why it's my daily driver. What? Ed, thanks so much for letting me be a part of the video. And everybody else, come check out the channel. My daily driver mouse is an ROG Spatha. It's a very big mouse, and at the same time, it's also very expensive. It's a wireless RGB mouse with a bunch of buttons and features. So what about ergonomics? Well, at first, it seemed too big to even be comfortable, but I gotta say, after a couple of days, it feels great. That is my daily driver mouse. Please go ahead and click that link in the video description and hopefully subscribe. What's going on everyone? It's Jack and you from Nothing But Tech. Thank you Ed for having me on your show. My mouse of choice is a Logitech MX Master. I use this mouse for productivity and for editing as I find it extremely comfortable to use over an extended period of time. And I also really love the horizontal scrolling wheel as it really speeds up my workflow to quickly go through my timeline. That's it for me though. I hope to catch you guys on my channel and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, Techum here. So for the mouse that I use daily, I use the Razer Ouroboros because it is a fantastic mouse, particularly for gamers. It is one of the high-end gaming mouses costing 150 US dollars. But what you get is a great design and the buttons are very satisfying to click. It also comes with a charging dock for your mouse when using the wireless feature. And customization is key on the Ouroboros as there are interchangeable side panels. And the mouse can also adjust to suit your hand perfectly. Overall, the Ouroboros is a great mouse to have and I hope to see some of you guys over on my channel. Peace. The Logitech M510 is my mouse of choice for surfing, editing, and watching. It's a no-frills wireless mouse that has your classic layout with forward and back buttons. What makes it a winner though is how comfortable it is even over extended usage. But it's also small enough to throw and store into my bag. The rubber coated sides feel great to hold and really help with maneuvering. But the top has a glossy finish that easily catches grease when you're eating or doing whatever else you like to do at night. Along with a two year rated battery life, it's an overall budget friendly, comfortable and reliable mouse on the go. Hey guys, my name is Anton, and the mouse I use for all my everyday tasks, video editing, and gaming is the Logitech G502. Ergonomics is great on the 502. It's mostly good for a claw or hybrid grip. 
It has six macro buttons that you can easily program in Logitech's well-developed gaming software. All the buttons are Omron switches with a 20 million click rating. The scroll wheel also has a super nice mode that allows you to scroll almost forever with the click of a button. Finally, underneath is a Pixart PMW3366, which gives fast and accurate tracking with no acceleration. All those dope features pretty much come together to make the best all-around mouse in my opinion. Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here from Nerd on a Budget. The mouse that I use is the Red Dragon Center Forest. I originally bought it to use as a temporary mouse while waiting for a bigger brand name one to go on sale. It ended up exceeding my expectations, so almost two years later, it's still my daily driver. In terms of features, it has six buttons, a braided cable, adjustable weights, and it's symmetrical minus the side buttons. My time on the computer is mostly spent browsing, creating content, and playing casual games, for which it works perfectly. Thanks for putting together this collaboration, Ed, and thank you all for watching. Hope to see some of you on my channel. What is going on, guys? Alex here, and the mouse that I use on a daily basis is the Rocat Cova. <laughs> The lighting on it is absolutely awesome with the one around the scroll wheel and the little base of it as well. This is just so comfortable to use in general and that's why I've actually stayed with this one. It doesn't stick to any surfaces, it's like nice and smooth, it does have some significant weight to it which is also an added bonus and that's about all I have to say about my daily driver mouse. So thank you to Ed for having me on the show and I will see you guys over on my channel. So that is it for the collab, I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who participated. Uh, guys make sure to check them out, I'll have their links down below as always. Consider subscribing and show some love um, also let me know if you guys have any feedback in the comment section down below it is a new series so I'm still tweaking things around if you enjoy the series also make sure to leave a like if you have a YouTube channel between 2,500 subscribers and also 100k subscribers make sure to follow me on Twitter because that is when I'll be announcing the next collab sometime in December uh, so if you guys want to participate that is where it's gonna happen thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video